Welcome back guys to another episode of Feed the Beast, not Tech It, I know I always get that wrong, and we've got a hole here, but that's not what we're focused on today. We're actually focused, oh yeah, by the way I moved things around in here a bit, because eventually there will be more rooms continuing off this way, but we're going to focus on a much larger hole today, and that would be this one. Yes, today you're going to get another time lapse, we're going to build something awesome, Hopefully I've got a general idea of, oh yeah, this too, uh, so the flowers are spreading and I don't think it's grown at all, although I could be wrong. And it's all thanks to that tree, I believe it, I believe that is what's causing it, I don't know for sure, but it would make sense, it really would. Or this is just part of the process, after it grows to a certain point it just does this and flowers over, I don't know, I really can't find anything about it. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing today is, uh, eventually I envision that we're going to have many, many rooms to this place, and many levels, like two, three, four levels up, and at least two basement levels, so I've been sort of mapping it out, and what we're going to need close to the entrance, which is this house, is a giant sort of elevation system, so we can go up and down, so that's what we're going to build today, we're going to build a tower that we can use to go up and down with. And I've got a ton of materials all mapped out. I'm sure this isn't enough and that we'll have to get more, but it's a start. It's a pretty good start. And you can see kind of what we'll be using. Not really the fir wood, that's just for some preliminary stuff. Okay, so yeah, enough delaying, let's get building.
Well, there it is. The tower, uh, at least the first two stories complete. I do have to work on the two basement levels. Uh, yeah, still a lot of work to do, but uh, the outside tower looks pretty cool. I don't like the wood paneling there. We're going to have to exchange that or cover it up somehow. I don't know. That'll be a future event. Anyway, I want to give you a quick tour of it. Uh, also, if you'll notice on the map in the corner there, I am at elevation 70, as it says in parentheses. And I've been sort of building this smart. Like, if you'll check here, now we're at elevation 75. Yes, when building this house, I want to go up and down by fives. So here we go, here's the the level, the base level. Then if you come up here, you get a really nice view, and you'll notice that we're at 75. Come up one more, and we're at 80. So yeah, I did, I did try to build it around those nice multiples of five. I really like that. My OCD is loving me right now. And then we go from 70 to 60, which means there will be a 65 level, I just haven't built it yet. The, the thing with the basement thing is I want to come back and excavate all of this before I actually build it. So in the next episode you'll get another short little time lapse as we finish this. And also, I think you'll also get a time lapse of this. I want to build a room in here for the machinery. I'm going to have all the machines down here so that they're directly... Here, let's get some light in here. It's dark. Uh, this room is directly below the main room, which is really strategic because we can pipe things between the chests and the machines. Uh, let's grab a torch so you can see this. Ugh. Uh, you can't really see it, but that right there is the flooring. I sort of found where the edges are and maps this out accordingly. So yeah, and there's a lot of ores I've yet to pick up. This connects back to our original caving system we found on that first or second episode, I don't remember. But I'm really happy with how this tower turned out. It's really gonna help us get through our house as it expands. You'll definitely see a lot of expansions in the next few episodes because I want to flesh out our house a bit. I feel like it has a lot of potential and I want to reach it. And I also don't, it is kind of unprofessional having things scattered around our lawn. We've got all of our beekeeping things over there, which I'd like to move inside. We've got our thermal craft stuff. We've got farms, which I'd like to sort of attach to the house more. We need an enchantment room. We need a place for the animals. We need all sorts of things. We've got the machinery, which we're going to build a room for probably in the next episode you have with me just a lot of things we need to put inside of the house. I, my OCD, it gets me. It, it really does. So yeah, and here's our big stack of machines. Well, if you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to see more, you know what to do. I've been Desmo360, and I will see you guys next time.